everybody, we're back with Bible Fun with Baby again, and this time we've got something new and different. Um, I don't know if you all know that I coach a soccer team, and we had practice tonight, so we're out here together. Can I go, Grandma? You yes, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even when uh, we're playing be, soccer, be very quiet on the, now. Got to be very quiet. Each other. Okay. We probably should have thought about that before we started. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I don't know if you've ever seen little children play and have fun, but. It's just a joy to watch them. They're just um, so full of life and so full of fun. And, um, and they just really, really do a lot to cheer each other up. And, um, and we're learning about what it means to be on a team. And I'm probably going to ask them a couple of questions about that to kind of go with our Bible verses uh, this week. Um, I had mentioned last week where we were going to go over our Bible verses, but I discovered that it's time for some new verses. So I went and printed out the new verses for this, this year. And um, okay, one of our Bible back. verses is going to come from that. I, but before I, I do, let me ask any of these children. I'm going to try to introduce them so you'll know them. Um, this is Jeff Michael Watts. He's from Improve. Uh, this is Holly Dice. Yeah, Alex. Okay, and this is Nash Kingston. This is Riker Freeman. This is Sykes Lofton. This is Braley. What's Braley's last name? Brody, what? <laughs> Let me find. I don't know, Brody. What's your last name? Oh, baby. She. Huh? I can't remember. Oh, this is Parker Harris. Max Jordan, you know him. Little Darcy Jordan back there. We've got Shirley. I mean, uh, Madison. Uh, Shirley uh, Riley, Madison Riley, and Tori Riley. Dude. Will I Jordan is our assistant you. coach, and we have two girls know. missing, and they're sick tonight. But uh, first of all, I'm going to ask these children. I know some of them might know. Do any of y'all know the books of the Bible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. Okay. I'm going to sing a song. Have y'all ever heard the song, the ABC song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Me, me. Okay. We, sing the, uh, we sing the books of the Bible like ABC. So I'm going to sing it really slow and see if y'all can follow along. Max, I know you and Will Darcy know it, so we'll sing it together. I know. I know. I know. All right, let's start. Okay. One, two, three. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, and Ruth. First and second Samuel, first and second Kings, first and second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah. Fun names, right? Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi, that's it. Those are the books of the Old Testament. See, now you'll learn something today. We're going to know them all by next week. How's that? Now, we're also, with the Old Testament, there's also the New Testament. And that's where we learn about Jesus, when Jesus was born and when Jesus. he lived on earth. Yes. That's right. That's right. But we're going to sing those books of the Bible. Y'all listen and I'll sing them for you. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Acts and a letter to the Romans. First and second Corinthians. Galatians and Ephesians. Philippians, Colossians. First and second Thessalonians, first and second Timothy, Titus and Philemon, Hebrews, James, first and second Peter, first and second and third John, Jude and Revelation. Hey, to never have heard that song, y'all did really good. I heard I it. I did. What I you saying? Well, right. you, you did very good. I'm proud I heard of you. What about me? You did great. I love me. Oh, oh yeah. it's fabulous, fabulous. Okay, now listen, I'm going to tell y'all a story before we have to go, okay? Listen, okay, Jeff Michael has on his soccer shirt from last year. So what is the name of Jeff Michael's uh, team? Can y'all tell? Mm -hmm. uh, it's the deck too. And do y'all know how you can tell what Jeff Michael's team is? Because he's got
that on the shirt. Like, how many of you like to watch the Saints? If you like to watch the Saints, yeah, raise your hand. Yeah. How, can yeah. you, how, can, how can you know who yeah. likes the Saints? Yeah. Because most of the time they yeah. wear yeah. Okay, let's not hit the balls because that's making me have to talk louder, okay? Listen, how do you how can you tell that somebody likes the Saints? Me. me. Don't, they, don't they wear a shirt that has the Saints on it and stuff like that? No, I have I have a Saints shirt on me, but it's right. And if, if you like the Cougars, you wear Cougar shirts. Yeah. And if you like the Wildcats, you wear Wildcat shirts. It does smell like tuna fish because guess what? It looks Okay. It keeps the bugs away. That's okay. Why it's All right. Let's. Let, we, I'm losing control of this. All right. Listen. How do you know that somebody is a follower of Jesus? Me. I, me. Any, raise your hand if you know the answer. All right, it's Jeff Michael. How do you know? Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> do you see him at church sometimes? Okay. What's another way you know that somebody follows Jesus? Nash. Can you read my name? This is Braley. What if you see somebody reading the Bible? You think they probably follow well, Jesus. Well, my mini does it all the time. That's yeah. great. Max, what do you think? Uh, I have to say my name. Uh, I, I think uh, I know Sykes. Okay, Sykes, how do you know that somebody follows Jesus? Because when somebody... Uh, Can I go cut my shoe a little bit tight? Yeah. They we need to do something because it's getting a little bit loose. Jesus gives us strength. That's exactly and right. And help us can get like okay. big muscles. Well, listen, the, the Bible has something to say about that, and it even has something to say about young people like you. There is a song that goes. That, I need some water. Okay, you go get some water. Can I need some water? water. Yes, y'all may all go get some water, but I'm still talking. I have to still talk, okay? I don't need no water. You don't, okay. But listen, okay, the Bible says something about, okay, I've lost my audience. But the Bible says that um, there's a song that says. We're here. Yeah, thank y'all for being here. But the Bible says that you can tell when someone's a Christian and someone's a follower of Jesus by the way they act and the things they do. And that's one of our verses for this week. It's uh, Proverbs 20, verse 11. And it says, even a young person, even a little boy or a little girl, even they are known by their actions. They know that they're a follower of Jesus by the good they do and the things they do. So there's a song that we sing sometimes. It says, they know that we love Jesus by the way we love other people. So my question is, how do you know what team you're on? I don't. You don't? Well, if you if, and if you love Jesus and you follow Jesus and you obey Jesus, then you're on the winning team. You're on Jesus' team. Um, and that's the important thing. Is even you know whatever we do every day is even if we're not preaching or if we're not teaching Sunday school, people can know who we follow by the way we treat other people and by the way we act, regardless of how old you are. So the question is, which team are we going to be on? Who are we going to show that we follow? Okay, y'all, we're fixing to pray. We're fixing to pray and then y'all can go, okay? Y'all be really quiet as I pray, okay? Okay, really quiet. Really quiet, everybody's quiet. Sykes and Nash, are y'all really quiet? Okay, let's be really quiet and I'll pray. Lord Jesus, I just love you so much, Lord, and I just thank you for uh, little children, Lord. You, you say in your word that you just want them to come to you, Lord, and I just thank you for, for their, their energy and their love of life, and I just pray that we would all see life just like they do. Lord, I just pray that we would live our lives in a way that people would know that we follow you and that we love you and that we trust you in everything. Lord, I pray for all of the, uh, those in the uh, communities that are still suffering with COVID and dealing with hardship. Lord, I just pray that you would bless them and um, make yourself known to them in a way that they'll know that you love them. And Lord, I just pray that as we go out, that we will show your love to everybody we see. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay, y'all, you can go. Bye.